Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Mars Place here, and today we are going to be talking about Taylan Talon Horton Tucker. Taylan Horton Tucker was drafted in the second round with the 46th pick by the Orlando Magic, but he was traded to the Lakers. Tucker is a shooting guard, and he is six foot four, but with a massive seven foot one wingspan, and it gives him a lot of defensive potential. Tucker is a very raw prospect, and he, as he is only 19 and won't turn 20 until the end of November, but the potential for him is clearly there. This season, Tucker appeared in six games total and started one of the of those six games. In those six games, he averaged 5.7 points, 1.2 rebounds, one assist, but with 1.2 steals showing his defensive game. Which is also very impressive for a rookie to be, make it to the to the roster and play minutes and even start a game as a 19 year old on a stacked Lakers team. Now, yes, they aren't they haven't been playing well in the bubble, but still, him him making the roster is very 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 impressive. <clears throat> His efficiency was pretty good as, as well. He shot 46.7% from the field and an all right 30.3% from three and, his, and a not so great 50% from the free throw line. But also there was a very small sample size. He only took 0.7 free throws per game in those six games. So he, he, could, he could actually become a good free throw shooter. Maybe it was just a bad stretch of games for him from the from the free throw line. But anyways, regardless, his growth is making the Lakers excited, and is and had Coach Vogel say he continues to impress me. He's making a case for the rotation with just the the way he performed with this whole restart. He really has really come a long way. Uh, come along. He played really strong and looked really comfortable against against a very good team tonight and he continues to make a case so maybe the start of next season we can see a 19 to 20 year old Taylor Horton Tucker be in the rotation of one of the best teams in the league that is really impressive because of how young he is and how deep the, ro the Lakers roster are. is in the G League he put up a very good 18 point one points 6.2 rebounds with four assists, and his efficiency was all right, not anything amazing. He shot 42.5% from the field, 30.9 from the free th I mean, from three, and 74.3 from the free throw line. He showed his defensive p potential again by putting up 1.4 steals and a pretty decent 0.6 blocks per game. He earned the trust of the team as he had an insane usage of rate of 26.6 percent for a rookie now again he showed his versatility as he can be uh, he can put up the points as he did put up 18.1 points he can rebound the ball pretty decently for for a guard using his six point nine his seven foot one um, seven foot one wingspan as he did grab 6.2 rebounds and he can dish the ball all right, not amazing though. He did only put up four assists with um, upwards of three turnovers, but still very good for him. Now I'm not saying he'll he'll be a superstar anytime soon, but he may become a top-notch starter if, if or if he develops his three-point shot, he may become a very good three and D player. In today's in today's NBA. In, in today's NBA, 3 and D players are in high demand, and they are needed for a championship team to succeed. Uh, so last year, the Raptors had Danny Green. This year, the Lakers have Danny Green. Not saying they're going to win the, the championship, but they are a very good team, and they do have a 3D player. Um, 20, 2018, they had Iggy, and the Warriors always had Iggy championship years so like I said they are needed um, to become and for teams to become a top top contender in the league not saying they are the best players in the on their team but they are very 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 important players for those 
for those championship teams. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy, and peace.